little backstory I started to yoga in 2018 at the time I had just discovered yoga with Adrian shout out to you Adrian you're saving a lot of lives out here I had just discovered yoga with Adrian and I was doing her 30 days yoga challenge that's it's very beginner friendly so that was how I got into like yoga properly I feel like that practice alone helped to open up my mind so I was able to learn all the lingo well not all but most of the lingo most of the important stuff like warrior one warrior two quick vinyasa shavasana you know all these things so that like when I go to yoga classes I'm not completely lost I don't even know if I'll classify myself a beginner or I don't know what I am but I'm just enjoying it these days I feel like I don't even need to be on my mat to yoga I wake up some mornings and I just feel like I need to flow I'm very glad now that I can comfortably do a quick vinyasa flow or I can move you know it's not something that I was have been able to do like all my life honestly if I tell you that I didn't care about like fit fitness before like whether it was working out physically or like I don't even know like all of that it wasn't part of my language it wasn't part of my vocabulary it wasn't in my dictionary anywhere it wasn't in nothing so anyway um fast forwarding now to today why we're making this video you've probably seen from the title and you're probably curious I was very curious as well when I started to yoga and meditate because there was a lot of talk from people like oh yoga is this do you guys that people were talking about the third eye root chakra you know all these things the truth is spirituality is deep and people have come to terms with the fact that it's deep and have identified with their own version of spirituality or how they understand their spirituality i want to say i want to be very very sensitive and very very delicate while talking about this because a lot of people would not share the same opinions as i do or i wouldn't share the same opinions as everybody else but that doesn't take away from the fact that we're still having the same conversation sort of anyway what was i saying before i got cut off oh yeah there's a lot of talk about yoga and all of that so me i was you know curious spiritually curious mentally curious physically just curious in all the sense of it like i said i studied yoga with adrian and it didn't seem threatening to me it seemed very okay this is good energy coming from here this is good vibes so why are people complaining i know like there's like some parts where like namaste so bowing to the divinity that exists in you and i wouldn't even fault that because being christian and being catholic as well we know that the holy spirit dwells in us we know that god lives in us we know that we are divine beings in having a bodily experience i don't know how that whole quote goes but we definitely are spiritual beings a lot of us are just more open to the idea of that than the others and some people have learned how to harness theirs and just find a good balance i wouldn't say that I'm all the way there yet but I'm definitely like on the thicker scale of things I'm spiritual and I'm Christian I feel like I was looking at you know Christianity and spirituality what the link was if there was any links and how to properly identify with it you know because it's a lot of things they don't tell you about spirituality from the church 
or like I don't know it's just basically because people don't know enough about it or like nobody wants to offend anybody but the way I see it is we all acknowledge there is somebody higher than us right if we cannot agree on that fact <coughs> somebody's higher than us and most people call the highest being Allah most people call the highest being Jesus Christ most people call the highest being Buddha you know a lot of people have been brought up with different spiritual and religious beliefs I happen to have been born into the Catholic and Christian belief and I've grown to love it and enjoy it and I feel like there's nothing out of this world that we are doing when we say we meditate as Christians for all you know Christianity has their own meditation you know there's a lot of apps now that are recognizing that Christians want to meditate so they are grounding us in like you know the basics of meditation how to meditate with Christ because if you go deep into meditation most people get like out of body experience and you need a guide especially like when you're new to that whole meditative practice you need somebody to guide you and just show you where to go where you're going what you're even doing right or wrong okay so that's why i feel like it's important to know who you're meditating with meditation has very different forms but i don't feel like i want to talk about all of that today i've only ever practiced the christian meditation um, I know about the Calm app. I don't think the Calm app is Christian, but it's a good source. So the way I like to approach all these other things is from a very Christian belief, from the belief of Christianity. So I believe in God and I follow God. So for every, so for every, for every spiritual conversation there is to have, there is something something that God has done or like has shown in the process you know when the talk about manifesting started I was like wow is this another is this another like is another phenomena I need to avoid but I'm like hold on hold on hold on the Bible even tells us that the power of life and death is in your tongue so you should try to speak life all the time when you manifest you are speaking life into your future you're basically like saying what you want to happen the way you want it to happen so i feel like it's important that we are living in a spiritually woke um era it's also important that you are able to understand your own spirituality and know who the source is. I believe in God, so I feel like that's where my source is always going to be from. So, that you say law of attraction doesn't mean that you're a bad person or, you know, just spirituality is deep that's why like I am um, you know if you don't if you're not grounded in something you're bound to fall apart because it's hard to place your belief or your trust in some, somebody or something that you don't even know so now I'm at a point where my faith is growing or like I want my faith to just keep growing you know meditation has helped me to just acknowledge and recognize what my body does in may adrian had her adrian had her playlist for yoga in may and i don't know what i just said there 
but her yoga playlist for me was on meditation and i was like excellent this is an opportunity for me to delve into that meditative practice i think i did the first two weeks consistently with her so like even if i missed one day i'll do it like the next day so i'll always like try to catch up and keep up i found out like it was a lot easier for me to come back because yoga is not new to me anymore and i was understanding the purpose of meditating i was understanding like the purpose of why we are why was i was actually coming to meditate in the first place so eventually i was like i can actually do this on my own so i stopped watching the videos and i started to practice on my own just paying attention to where my thoughts are going acknowledging when i've lost focus and trying to see the way i even talk to myself you know this thing that people say about self-talk that's so real like meditating reveals a lot about yourself that you don't know because you're literally like you're you're observing the thinking brain so you're just there like trying to like you're not doing anything the mind has its own mind like if you're going to say that the mind has only you're not doing it you're just there and you're just like whatever you want to do do you know what that is you're giving room for the divinity that exists in you to actually show because i'm getting like uh because when you're meditating you are essentially calm you know your thoughts are probably all over the place but you're not paying too much attention to them in such a way that it will distract you from the answers that you know that exist within you girl the whole <sighs> man life is deep but i just felt like i wanted to have this safe space i think please be nice in the comments don't be rude i just wanted to have this safe space where i could start to share my spirituality and my journey as it is and what i've learned so far i'm going to make a lot more videos like this but i don't know how often they will come but you know everybody is sh sh striving thriving or trying to get somewhere so we might as well like help in the best way that we can i just you know pray that i never lose sight of who i am i pray that i always find ways to reconnect to god because you you would honestly tell like when your life is different when like your life has been touched by a divine hand Ooh, you will be able to tell so a lot of people a lot of people just like you know don't recognize that they wield so much power and possession at their fingertips i guess it's all for the best though because there's as much evil as there is good in this life but as always we just keep praying that the good keeps to keeps finding us keeps to find us keeps finding us the pray that the good keeps finding us and we just like you know get to a place where we are all spiritually connected and not having to fight for for like i believe or i don't believe just hold your faith hold your faith hold your faith hold your faith hold your face sometimes i wonder like if i was if i wasn't born christian what i would be like i don't know but anywho i just want to say thank you for listening and i wanted to know what your own thoughts about yoga and meditating is as a christian babe you know if you're a follower of christ you feel like uh -uh, i can meditate i only know christ and i only like want to follow christ are you open to 
and you open to them in the sense that you're not judging you acknowledge that they exist but you just want to follow your own practice i feel like that's where i am i'm open to it i've seen some scriptures from the quran though i can't read it it's in arabic but like you can tell that these people are actually praying praying so i guess like we'll never really know until the last day what if like it's just like the language that is just separating us what if we actually like i feel like we're all worshiping the same god in capital letter g anyway i don't know about like other small gods but definitely the god almighty i feel like we are all probably low-key worshiping the same god we're just referring to we're just referring to them in, with different names or terminologies but yeah that's my small two cents on yoga and meditating as a christian babe i really want to know what your thoughts are so we can have like conversations about this in the comments so don't be shy please drop it in i'm going to be monitoring this space very very closely if i see comments that are potentially offensive i've blocked 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 because we're sharing and growing have you tried to meditate before what was your experience like <laughs> the first day i tried to meditate i was like oh, who who sends you a message like what are you doing you're just gonna mm -hmm. but i'm like nah people have meditated this thing that they meditated some people even tell you that they be ascending i don't know where they're going to but you feel them floating i mean i'm i don't even know but yeah let's talk more in the comments all right thanks for watching and um, i will catch you later don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and i will catch you in my next vlog bye